Hey guys, Mr. Lamas Gaming here. Third part of the Command Conquer playthrough. GDI Hard Choices mission up now. Um, so apparently, the long range sensors have detected Gideon's forces inbound on Screen Tower, Screen Tower Research Center. Both General Secretary Rios and Kane are currently on site at the facility. This puts the stability of the GDI Council in grave danger. You will be assisting Colonel James in securing the area and keeping our leaders safe. So basically, they're lost and they need us, well, yeah, they need us to go and save them. So I'll leave the cutscene on. Honey, honey, give me some space. God, what happened? I was just coming here to say goodbye and you, was it the implant? Ma'am, the order came through to evacuate all non-personnel. We'll take care of him. Okay, okay, just one second, please. I almost lost you once. Don't put me through that again. Okay, no. okay, Thanks. okay. I love you. Sir, I've got General Riggs on the comm. Commander, Giddings extremists are moving on the Scrin Tower research station. Both General Secretary Rios and Kane are on site. Intercept and offer protection to both. This is a very tenuous political climate. We cannot afford to lose momentum right now. Riggs out. Commander, long range sensors have detected Gideon's forces in the right, so Tower Research Center. For Rios both General and Secretary Kane. Rios and Kane are currently on site at this uh, facility. Really don't like this puts the stability of the GDI Council in grave danger. You will be and I do have to say, your wife or girlfriend is a bit of an ugly bitch, to be honest. So for this mission, we'll be using the support class crawler. This is the third of the final... Uh, My crawler final is crawler. inbound, Commander. You'll have to bolster the limited defenses already in place until I arrive. Right, so we're going to have to bolster the defenses that are stopping this small non-attack force from breaching it. All right, Commander. Go ahead and deploy your support crawler. Okay. Deployment successful. We bring about victory. Standing by for next order. Powers and you. Non forces have besieged this base. You're going to have to keep it alive until Colonel James reaches the combat zone. We're uploading your first support power now. Repair zone. Use it to keep the base alive. Right. New Close objective yeah. received. Enemy down. unit sighted. To access your support powers, select the support powers tab next to your build kit. To use the repair zone power, left click on it, then left click again over friendly units and structures. As you use each power, it will drain a certain amount of charge level. Higher tier powers cost more, so be wise with what you use. Right. Powers are only half of the picture though. You can also build units. To start, we're granting you a mobile repair craft, the spanner. Uh, Enemy unit sighted. So as you can see, that this is mainly air support. Their units are a lot of like repairing, general Boys support, both debuff. Can't be dawdling around here. So we'll place our spanner to go and talk to it here. Something they fixed it. As you see now, this offensive coral loss is just Can't be walked in to here. assist us. Good job, Commander. Now let's find out where those bastards are coming from and put a stop to it. Objective complete. Right, so we've prepared this defense base. Enemy unit sighted. We have intel that there are not tunnel networks to the northwest. Taking out those tunnels should put a stop to their attacks. Get your troops into formation and follow my lead. I see not much we really have to New do objective received. It's more so just assisting Colonel James with our support powers and our and our three spanners. Commander, we're uploading a new support power for you. Firehawk airstrike. Target a group of enemies and watch our flyboys take them out. Right, so Let's give the Colonel's forces a hand. Uh, Fine by a me. tier three ability. 
Come on, Commander. We don't have all day. Get your troops in line. My forces are going to bunker down here in case they come back. Head southwest to the other research facility and mop up any stragglers. New objective received. Colonel James has granted you access to build the Orca, a flying unit capable of attacking both air and ground targets. These should help you with the remaining Nod forces in the area. Commander, the Nod avatar you just destroyed left behind a husk. Your engineer can capture it. You've now been granted access to train engineers. New objective received. Something need fixing? Right, so this is uh, decollecting. Eva. Now that the area is clear, you'll need to reinforce it again. First, you need to redeploy a defense crawler to help construct defensive buildings around the research facility. To the south is an uplink tower. Once you capture it, scrap your current crawler and redeploy a defense crawler. So it tells me after I've already scrapped. Right, so I'm going to have to redeploy my um, support crawl. Just to go capture. Central command. Uh, IPV8 initialized. We can set up there. As, uh, as you can see, they do change when you upgrade from tier, from tier 1 to tier 2 to tier 3. Uh, now it's got missile launchers on the top of it so it can deal air and ground damage. So it can defend itself against the tier 3, it's just not as good as normal units would be. So if it does get outnumbered, it probably will be. It could put up a fight, could destroy a couple of units itself, but then it just get overpowered and overgunned and just get destroyed. So it's always good to make sure you have units, even when you've got a tier 3 crawler. Near your crawler, even if you use it as another offensive unit yourself. We captured the building. Right, so we captured this. If it must be done. Yes, it must be done. As you can see, these can be upgraded as well with advanced thrusters and charge capacity. Charge capacity which basically just increase its speed and how much hit, that hit damage it can take. So now we're going to spawn our defensive crawler. Advanced electronic video agent online. Now with your defense crawler, move to the designated locations and construct a bunker at each one. New objective received. An excellent sight. So we get two bunkers on go. Construction is complete. Right, the first one's done. As you can see, I'll just probably speed it up just for the tutorial. These also have the ability to be upgraded. Objective complete. So as you can see, these uh, Thank you, these about up here. The GDI Council appreciates your efforts. Just getting wasted. So that's the third mission. Now it's no more playing easy mode. We're going to be using our own tactics, our own strategies, our own crawlers, our own units. So uh, hopefully you'll catch the next video where we'll start our own crawler tactics and like, comment and subscribe to my new channel, it's Mr. Lama's Gamer. Enjoy the next video if you do come by, come back. If you don't then I hope you've been I hope you've been enjoying these videos. I should be doing some more playthroughs. I'm gonna start doing possibly Guild Wars 2 soon. Since I know it's a massive online game, so uh, if you if you are a high level character on Guild Wars and you'd like to help me out on that, it'd be much appreciated. So peace out, guys. Hope you enjoy the new this new video, and hope you enjoy videos to come.